elements, and then I'll combine elements to form compounds, and compounds get formed to create mixtures. You know, the, the model is chemistry, obviously, and how this universe is built. And so um, that seems to work well as a model for building an existing universe. So why not adopt that same model for building my own universe? This uh, exhibition is called Figure Drawings, and it's a continuation of the uh, women's series that really started formally for me about four years ago in 2010. And what we have here are really the finished final forms that are being presented um, in a variety of material. This show has, has come together not necessarily as a result of envisioning the show as a whole at the beginning, but more about kind of accommodating all the different things that I've been doing within this body of work and then trying to create an environment that accommodates those. I'm not the kind of artist who can magically make a beautiful drawing in one go. I make a series of uh, failings and a series of struggles toward that final drawing. I take that solution and then I perfect it and make, uh, what I do is make more of a technical drawing that's geometrically perfect and beautiful. And so then I have what is essentially a digital file. It's a, it's a vector drawing. And that becomes my core ingredient, or one of my ingredients for all the work. I've become so familiar with these core elements that I've drawn that when I combine them and start to mix them together in paintings or sculptures or environments that I lose sight of the fact that other people aren't as familiar with them. So then I find myself going back toward maybe simplifying the picture plane or isolating elements. And in the most extreme case, isolating just elements and presenting them on their own like we're doing with this exhibition. I go back and forth between legibility and illegibility, I guess. And I've always concerned myself with communication. My desire is to share what I'm trying to communicate in these drawings. And this uh, push and pull and back and forth, because on one hand I'm not making work for an audience, but I'm making work with an audience in mind, and I'm hoping the work is appreciated and legible and read. And then on the other hand, I'm making work for myself where I'm just in a dialogue with the work with myself, and that's why I kind of get lost in my own head in the paintings and the picture planes become so complicated and convoluted, but I'm still in dialogue with the work. And so anyway, that's, that's, that's one of my many struggles, I guess. <laughs>